difficult to get there really fast. You may not always be prudent. There could be a backlash, a backlash, you know, a back, backlash. It could be a backlash if you take shortcuts for success. You don't follow conventional methods and, you know, steady, slow, but steady as she goes, sailor said. Yeah, sometimes if you're too haste in a project, you can make errors and mistakes. It's the same with what you put in your body. If you treat your body well, things will probably end up well, but uh, longevity. But if you put garbage in and garbage comes out, must come out in some form, you know, there's always a release valve. There's always some kind of an exit, whether it's a desirable one or, or natural one. There'll be an exit, just like when you get hit by lightning. If you're, not, if you're grounded, it'll come out somewhere. It'll go through that ground, but it'll go through your body. Uh, so, you know, what comes in must go out. That's how we're designed. That's how it's all designed. That's how it's manufactured. There's an entry and an exit. So you have to be careful what you eat, what you drink. All that stuff is, is a lot of that stuff is polluted. Has things in there that yeah, may be natural, but it may not be in the right quantities. Maybe too much or too little. Just like your vitamins. Yeah, vitamins are good, but to be maybe not maybe not in excess, or maybe not uh, too little. You have to find the right balance, the right amount in all things. But there are some things that you want to completely avoid. There are certain known chemicals that are hazardous to your physiology, known to the to what is it called known by the surgeon general to cause cancer like cigarettes and tobacco products and alcoholic beverages and heavily sugared drinks like soda pops and all that stuff soda pops yeah you kind of wonder why they created and manufactured it in the first place someone's making a quick buck over it but at the expense of other people. And then they have to pass legislation uh, for medical care and all these other things to try to deal with people who neglect their bodies. You know, everybody wants to become a victim, you know, so the government can take care of them. That's cool. Look. I got my chop gone. The government can take care of you. The government, the government can take care of you. Yeah, just eat their products. Eat all their chips, eat all their, uh, eat all their dips, all their soda pops, all their beers, all their junk, junk. Yeah, eat it all. And you'll have medical, you'll probably have medical issues. And then they'll make money off that too. They'll make money off that too. Yeah, yeah, just eat all that crap that they try to sell you. Yeah, supposedly in our best interest. We're, we're just the average consumer that's ignorant and you know, we're prone to desires and weaknesses. And, and there are people who capitalize on that, you know, on that. They capitalize on it because that's how they make money. They have to sell you something. And they have to make it pretty, they have to make it taste good, they have to make it desirable. That's so they can entice you and put a dangling carrot at the end of their fishing line and, and try to lure you in. So you can be gullible and acceptable and, and go for it. And eat their crap and their garbage. Chapko.